it's known as the law of inertia. Inertia is a really important word in physics. I have a lot of jokes about inertia. You know how they say basketball never stops? Don't laugh, don't laugh. Make sure you don't laugh. It's because of inertia. Put up phone. No. <laughs> the first day I walked in Amadi's class, I saw her and I was like, she's so happy. Like, that's, that's the thing that stands out about her. She's never in a bad mood. Kids are very keen to understand when someone is not truthful or someone is fronting or someone is trying to be someone that they're not. As long as I am honest about who I am, I can really bring pretty much most kids along. Then we learn physics, then we learn chemistry. I can talk about math and it becomes really fun. Sometimes you don't walk into her classroom, her classroom walks into you. You'll be up on the second floor and all of a sudden you'll see a bunch of students uh, doing uh, catapult uh, exercises to, in their physics class. It's always hands-on, it's always moving. Like right now we're working on a remote control car testing speed and velocity. When you just mentioned speed and velocity, it gets like people going. Teachers are magic makers. It is the most fun job. We've done everything from kombucha and experimenting with fermentation, how to make ice cream. An entire unit on energy culminates with the designing of a roller coaster and describing energy transformations and all of the different kinetics that is involved. Back when I taught ninth and 10th grade, I went to the Marine Bio Lab up in Woods Hole and they were launching what was called the Microbes Within, which is a project about Wolbachia. Students had to go outside and collect insects. They had to preserve them. I had to teach them how to do all of the different sequencing of labs, whether it be um, the PCR, gel electrophoresis, DNA extraction. They launched it as a project that high schoolers can actually not only do in their classroom, but they can then also contribute to the data pool and they feel like they are contributing. And even if it is just that first step, my real hope is that then they will go on and they will engage in this topic in their future careers. And the beauty of particularly New York City public schools, because there are so many children, is that these kids are brilliant. They are brilliant, they are creative, and they are going to make things happen. And the fact of the matter is, is that we are now tasked with making sure that they have the tools to do that. And that's what we're doing in my classroom.